Moving on to the 1970s. George Carlin took the stage and he went off like a cannon with his words with complete disregard for what can and cannot be said. Mentored and launched by his idol Lenny Bruce, he also got himself arrested. And how does he come back from it? By landing himself a niche space on HBO which let him say whatever he wanted. One of his most popular bits called Seven Words gave him the push to fame he needed. So you got to kind of watch out what you're going to believe from them. The trouble is, I was trying to find out what these words might be. And I wanted to know the ones that you could never say on television. I mean the filthy words that are always filthy. There are a lot of these little two-way double entendre words that have two meanings, words that are okay part of the time. I call them like part-time filth. Some of these words, they're only 50% dirty. You have words like ass. Ass is hardly even a dirty word anymore, but it has a few meanings that you can't say on television. That's what I was talking about. What can you say on television? That's another one of those places where we can't use these words all the time. But some of them are all right some of the time. Ass is all right on television. You can say on television things like, well, you've made a perfect ass of yourself tonight. But you can't say, hey, let's go get some ass. <laughs> Garland specialized in content which had a lot to do with freedom of speech and touching on topics that were sensitive at the time about drugs, Vietnam and America's uptight attitude towards sex. 